Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Apple has just released its latest M4 Pro chip which powers the new Mac Mini. This upgrade promises significant performance enhancement for AI tasks, particularly with large language models in France. The M4 Pro chip boasts an impressive specification sheet including up to 14 core CPU, 20 core GPU, 16 core neural engine and support for up to 64 GB of VRAM. In this video, not only I am going to show you the specs, we will also check out the pricing. I will be checking in context of Australia, but you can of course use the same for any geographical location where you are. Also we will be looking at uh, the bit of a comparison in simple words, whether it is worth buying it over Nvidia or not. or what could be the useful uh, use case where this could be valid. I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. So let's get started. Now, first up, go to this page and then from here, you can just start customizing it. Just click on pre-order and then you will be presented with this screen where you just need to select M4 Pro. Scroll down a little and these are few of the specs here. Click on select and then you will be presented with this screen. So you see that at the moment it is showing me around $3,400. Let's try to customize it and I will also give you a bit more information around that. Before I do that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. It works on any page, it is resilient, it uses AI behind the scene, and it is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, coming back to this Mac Mini's customization. So you see, it really comes with something amazing like 64 GB of unified memory. Now if you scroll down, you can select different processors. I have gone with this Apple M4 Pro chip with 20 core GPU. You could reduce the price a bit by just going with 16 core GPU. So you see there is a $300 difference, 400. I would suggest that if you are spending that much money, just go with 24, 20 core GPU. And then it comes in various unified um, memories. I would suggest go with 64 GB if you are buying this. If you go with 24 GB, there is a huge difference of around, uh, I would say maybe $900. But if you can, I would suggest going with this one. For storage, 512 is fine. You can also go with 8 terabyte, but I don't think so that's required unless you want to store the models in full on your local system, multiple of them, but even 512 should be good enough for starters. And then just leave this gigabit ethernet. And then if you want to increase it, you can go with this, but I would recommend it. And then no need to buy these Cut Pro and Logic Pro unless there is a specific requirement. And then it tells you what is in the box and all that stuff. So this is how you can customize it. But looking at the 64 GB unified memory, this is really, really enticing. Now, what I have read so far from some of the, you know, I would say impressions and plus what I have read so far in the sheet of this Mac Mini, I think that uh, it is a mix thing. I would say it is suitable for LLM inference, and but there are few limitations. The Mac Mini's memory bandwidth, um, 27, uh, 273 gigabits per second, may hinder inference speed for larger models. In contrast, if you look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA's high-end GPUs like 3090 offer faster performance, but of course the cost and power consumption is higher. But for smaller LLMs, the Mac Mini's integrated MLX chip and shared system memory deliver impressive performance. But for larger models, NVIDIA GPUs provide faster inference speeds. So that is my take. The Mac Mini 64 GB uh, memory limits model size, while NVIDIA GPUs offer more VRAM. There is no doubt about that and you can get as much as you like at the moment. This trade-off between performance, power consumption, and cost is crucial 
for developers and researchers and hobbyists who work with LLMs day in and day out. Real world implications in my humble opinion are quite significant too. If you're looking for simple applications like chatbots, language translation, text summarization, simple rag, the Mac mini simplicity, low power usage, and this price tag is not that bad. But for demanding tasks like large scale language modeling, and then in-depth question answering, text generation at larger scale, NVIDIA GPUs are the better choice. If this is just for your personal use or maybe, you know, two or three work group, I think Mac Mini's this version is quite good, quite good, I would say. Anything production level or a developer team? Of course not. But if you want to give your developers who work in Mac ecosystem their own uh, system equipped with a good GPU, this is the go. So larger models require more VRAM and faster GPUs, we all know that. Faster GPUs provide quicker results but may increase cost. Lower power consumption reduces operational costs and environmental impact. Another idea which could be, and I would leave the thought with you, is to not to buy this at all and just wait for Apple's much-awaited M4 Ultra chip, which may double GPU cores and boost performance. Also, another alternate here could be that you could go with Intel's integrated GPU, which is quite cheaper, but I'm not sure about the quality. You have to weigh your option carefully, where you have to balance performance cost and power efficiency. So at the end of the day, the decision comes down to individual priorities and of course budget. For smaller LLMs and lower power applications, Mac mini, which is around 2000 US dollars, or as you can see, around 3000 Australian dollar makes sense. Also, if you want to go with high performance LLM in France, then in the same price tag, maybe a bit dearer, you will get NVIDIA's GPU. For future proofing, I would say just wait for M4 Ultra chip if you want to stay in Mac's ecosystem. So consider your specific use case and prioritize performance, power, efficiency, and simplicity. This M4 Pro chip really makes a significant step forward for A inference on Apple devices, no doubt about that. But still, a lot of evaluation needs to be done. I have seen some of the evaluations online, but I am still not sure if they are okay or not. But this actually looks quite good. For example, I would say that uh, it is cheaper than 5090 GPU card and has doubled the VRAM if you compare it to 5090, which is not a small deal, I would say, especially when it comes to uh, today's environment where GPUs from NVIDIA are so expensive. So by carefully evaluating these factors, you can um, harness the full potential of M4 Pro chip and make informed decision about your own AI infrastructure. If you ask me, what would I do? I would keep renting this stuff from cloud, like from Mast Compute, who always sponsor my GPUs and VRAM or any other GPU provider because I still believe that is way, way cheaper than the rest. That's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and it was useful. Let me know your thoughts. I am very, very keen to know what do you think about it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support and watching.